Today, we're fortunate to be joined by Professor Amber Spry, a member of the Politics and African American Studies Departments uh, at Brandeis University. Amber is a expert on the Black Lives Matter movement. Thank you so much, Amber, uh, for joining me. Thanks for the invitation. I know that you've done some research recently on generational divides in public opinion. Business leaders and senior managers seem to be trying to better understand the drive around social justice movements, especially as it relates to how people are experiencing their workforce. What do you think of these generational gaps in understanding of race, racism and anti-racism? So there's a couple of ways that we can look at this. We can look at the prevailing public opinion during different periods of time. um, And then we can look at differences uh, in opinion across age cohorts in the present day. Prevailing public opinion at different snapshots in time give us a sense of how different generations of Americans have been socialized and uh, come to understand major political movements. For example, if we look back in the 1960s at the peak of Martin Luther King Jr.'s work, two-thirds of the American public had an unfavorable opinion of Dr. Martin Luther King. Most people didn't approve of the work that he was doing. And I think that speaks to our political memory because it's so easy now to look at Dr. King as this beacon of unity and a leader of multiracial coalitions, but we don't always remember that towards the end of his life, Martin Luther King was advocating for what at the time was radical economic restructuring. And so we see uh, from the past that people broadly supported things like democracy, but they they were so much more reluctant to embrace it in their own day-to-day lives. And today this pattern generally persists. So if we look at just a snapshot today of what do different generations of Americans think about uh, the Black Lives Matter movement, for example, a movement to end racial injustice and racial inequality. We see um, this persistent pattern of support for egalitarianism and justice in theory, but less enthusiasm for changes in pursuit of equality that people think will negatively impact their own lives, right? In my research, I examine generational support for racial equality. Um, And I look specifically at the Black Lives Matter movement. And one of the most striking patterns is that Black Americans on the whole express strong support for Black Lives Matter. Um, This is strong support across generation, across gender, across income level. To the extent that we see a generational difference, um, my co-authors and I find that older generations of Black Americans are actually more supportive of Black Lives Matter than younger generations. But I, I wouldn't want this fact to obscure the finding that overall, Black support for Black Lives Matter is overwhelmingly positive, especially when we compare it to other Americans' evaluations. So white Americans, for example, uh, express much more mixed support for Black Lives Matter. Um, And across generations, we see that there are just as many nuances to account for. So even though younger white Americans are growing up in a more racially diverse United States than previous generations have, it doesn't appear to make them necessarily more progressive on racial issues. Let me press you a little bit. Um, I I, I think what you're saying about the generational divide is is counterintuitive. I think there are a lot of business leaders who, when they look at the first wave of Black Lives Matter protests, which my own research has been about, they saw a mostly Black um, sort of uprising in places like Ferguson or in places like Baltimore. When you look at the 2020 uprisings uh, after the deaths of Ahmaud Arbery, Breonna Taylor, uh, and George Floyd, we saw multi-generational mixed crowds in, uh, involved in these protests. You're suggesting that we shouldn't assume that just because this was the case in 2020, that the broad distribution of attitudes among millennials, for example, is progressive on race. I think that's right. There's so many factors that influence whether or not people support Black Lives Matter. Um, But I think the mistake is in believing that younger generations are necessarily more progressive than older generations. I think there are other factors at play. Political socialization has a lot to do with how different generations of Americans um, within and across racial groups come to interpret racial issues in the present day. 